Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, with a very large, substantial package. Looks like it's got some blood on it already. Lord Jehovah. But this comes to me by way of a man named Felix. Might not sound like anything important to you, but he's half of the design team that were behind the Griffin. Picked that up at Blade Show last year. Oh yeah, it's wild. Buck wild, super fidgety button lock. Well, this is their latest design. I think. I, I think. I hope. I don't. Stay, boy. I could be totally wrong, but we're gonna find out right now. Right! God, that was violent. Sorry. This comes to me by way of Felix! Uh, don't ask me to pronounce his last name, because I don't know. Uh, he said he was sending me the nude knaf to do a video on. Well, guess what? Here we are, doing the video. I do love, usually not my style, the Griffin, but this thing's nuts. Made by Reich Knife uh, out of China. They just do insane work. Same people behind the uh, Microtech MSI and the Anax and... No, 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 not the MSI. Just the Anax and the SOCOM Bravo, I think. But, it's a very large box. I'm really not sure... Holy shit. Some of that. Another big box within. Nothing left in there. Uh, goodbye. See ya. See ya, Chief. Griffin, again? Let's see here. Huh? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. There's a ton of stuff in here. Uh, uh, what the hell, dude? What do I do with all this? Um. Oh. Okay. All right. Nothing left in this box. A good box. We have two. Dude, there's three different knives in this box. Holy cannoli, dude. Uh, I don't know where to start. Let's start with the the Katuo box. This says Katuo knife. Kam Kamasu. Designed by Braden Sweeten. Braden. Let's see what the dealio is. And then this one was designed by Felix. And then I'd not... And I'm not sure what's going on. So, let's bust this open. See what this is all about. First off, we got some tools. Some tools of the trade here. Nice. Oh. Oh, dude. Okay, yeah, I've seen this. Nice box, by the way. Magnetic clasp. Katuo. You know, good stuff. Good stuff. Dude, this is a beast. This is the Kamasu from Katua Knife. I will leave links down below to all this stuff. Look at this thing, dude. Absolute beastly titanium frame lock. Nice mill titanium clip. Love the relief cuts there. Big, chonky, jimped titanium backspacer. Flipper, flicking hole. Little splash of color on the pivot there. Carbon fiber overlay, inlay, whatever you want to call it. It's a, that's a big boy. Uh, here is a size comparison real quick. Spyderco Pair 3. Bigger. Uh, bigger than that. Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. Oh, much bigger. Much bigger indeed, my good man. That's a big boy. Let me flick her open. Ooh. Oh, love that blade shape. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Big fan. M390 on the blade steel. Nice, tall, flat ground. Kind of a reverse Tonto sheep's foot kind of situation going on here. Gorgeous. Love that carbon fiber. Very nice. Big knife. Uh, in hand. Choke way back. I'm way back here. I'm way back here, dude. Feels good, though. Everything's nicely knocked down. Super comfortable in the hand. Choke up. Nice jimping on the blade spine. Yeah, right there. Feels good. Uh, ooh, nice. An actual finger choil. Doing double duty as a uh, sharpening choil. Feels great. Pinch grip. Eh. Yeah, it's comfortable. It's a little bit back heavy because of that big old titanium backspacer. But it works. It's a little big for a pinch grip. But it is damn good looking. Lockup is solid, dude. Not going anywhere. Open size comparison right quick. Spider Coat Bear 3, Tech Knife Coat Rockwall. Yeah, it's big, dude. That's big. How big is this thing? Let's get the tape measure out. We don't do this very often. It is a four inch blade. It's a four inch blade. No two ways about it. Yeah, that's a beast. Running on ceramic bearings, very big ones. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So, flipper, action. Nice. A little bit soft on the detent. Feels good, though. Nice jimping on that flipper tab. Oh, okay. That was rough. Not the snappiest detent in the world. Ooh. Sometimes it is. Can I thumb flick it? Sure. Feels better on the thumb flick. Reverse flick? 
Easy peasy. Oh my gosh. Hand placement. Gotta figure out hand placement here. Alright. Okay. Yeah, she gets the job done. God, that's a big knife. Jesus. Alright, well let's see what else is, is going on here. You know? That's wild. The uh, Ketuo Kamasu, designed by Brayden Sweeten. Yeah, that's nuts. That's a little wild. Um, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do the triad, because this is actually Felix's design. Felix was the guy that sent me all this stuff, so might as well check his out. Nice Ketuo pouch, uh, carbon fiber, M390. What do we got? I have not seen this, I don't think. Ooh. Oh, it's a button lock. Hell yeah, dude. All right, nice pouch. Cleaning cloth in the pouch, by the way. Let me in there. Let me in there, dude. Ooh. Ooh. All right. That's a nice looking knife. Super light. So we have liners that are... Ooh. Well, the blade's stainless. But titanium liners. Titanium backspacer. Very nice. Very, very good. Beautiful looking little knife. This carbon fiber, these carbon fiber scales are gorgeous. Reversible clip, nice simple 3D milled pocket clip. Insane jimping here on this very long backspacer. Big old lanyard loop, also doubles a little decoration. I see a hint of a poon going on. I love a good poon, between you and me. That's nice. Thumb studs and flicking hole, front flipper and back flipper. Size comparison real quick. Much more reasonable size for EDC. Spyderco Pair 3, yeah, right in that ballpark. Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall, a little bit longer, but lighter than both. Like, super, super light. Good size, good size for EDC. All right, let me pop this open. Ooh, whoa, look at this blade, dude. Dang, boy. So we have a compound ground, damn near mirror, it's like a mirror polished stonewash kind of situation going on. Super reflective finish. Poon Tonto? D Punanto? Is that what we're calling this? Dang, boy. The Triad M390. Man, that's a good looking knife. Very, very nice. Love, I love a good poon. So Ergo's in hand. Ooh, nice. Nice kind of subtle contouring on the scales. Fills the hand really well. So choke back, easy four finger grip. No problem. Feels good. Jimping's nice and soft, but grippy on the blade spine. Feels nice. Locked in. Locked and loaded. Big old forward finger choil nestling behind the poon. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I approve of that. That feels great. Locked and loaded. Nice, uh, nice thick grind there at the tip. Get in there for that detail work. How about the pinch grip? Ooh, all day. All day with the pinch grip. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Locked in. Pinch the uh, flicking hole. Ring finger wrapped around that choil right there. All the detail, all the control in the universe. Feels nice, looks nice. Open size comparison, right quick. Ass to ass with the Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. A little bit longer. And the Spider Co. Pair 3. Right about Pair 3 size, man. Hello, can we, can we center you? Can we get you in the center of the screen? Yeah, that's nice, dude. It's a good size and it's a good look. I like this. I like this. Action, button lock, titanium liners, M390. Oh, on bearings. Listen to that. Back flipper, front flipper, thumb flick, reverse flick. Use the uh, cutout. Use the thumb studs. You can do both. Oh. See, now the back flipper is very interesting. It's super minimal. So there's a learning curve to it, but... Oh, once you get it figured out, that's nice. It all works. It's not uncomfortable. Nice and it's a little soft on the detent, if I'm being honest, but it works for all four modes of actuation. And listen to this noise. Ding, ding, ding. That's nice. That is nice. Beautiful, the Katuo Triad. Again, links down below. But we have one more. Let me make sure my my camera's still recording here. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're Gucci. One more knife. This is the Katuo Telson M390 Titanium. What is going on here? Ooh. Oh! Whoa! Oh! oh, yeah. That's nice looking. Again, same story in this pouch. Cleaning cloth. Nice. Uh, nice pouch. Ooh. 
Oh yeah, look at this guy. Interesting. What the hell is this material? Is that just polished titanium? Future me? What is this? What is this uh, decorative mirror polished? What is this? Piece of an old piano? What's going on here? Wild looking mill titanium clip. Nice chamfering all the way around. A little splash of color on that pivot again. This like polished piano black material that's a mystery. Future me help. Blue hardware, which is nice. Kind of a decorative uh, pivot screw. Flipper. And we have these like dig outs here on the blade. I don't know if they're usable, but let's uh, open size or close size comparison real quick. Pair three. Tactile knife to rock wall. Bigger than both, but not much bigger than the pair three. Big old uh, textured titanium backspacer and a lanyard loop back here. Let me flick her open. Ooh, oh, again with this gnarly kind of sheep's footy reverse tonto. Love that profile. That's very nice. Lock up, solid. Ooh, ooh, ergos in hand. Again, big knife, big knife opened up, but that feels so nice. Easy four finger grip, no problem, locked in, no hot spots, no pinch points. Uh, no forward finger choil on this one, so that's about as far as you're gonna get safely. Pinch grip, eh, it's a little sketchy on this one because I don't have a real choil. 50, 60% eh, of the day on the pinch grip. Not the greatest pinch grip knife, but gorgeous and comfortable. Lock up, like I said, solid, solid as a rock. Action on bearings, yes, once again. Detents, this is the nicest detent of the three so far. Ooh, nice and snappy. Nice and smooth on those ceramic bearings. Easy access to the lock bar. Blade just closes. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, can I flick it? Thumb flick? Can I reverse flick it? Oh, I don't know. I think those are just for decoration. And that kind of... But yeah, the deep... Woo, okay, I got it. Mm. Practically, no. It, you know, technically speaking, maybe? Okay, yeah, but it's tough. It's gonna. It's a learning curve on the thumb flick and the reverse flick. For all intents and purposes, I'd call this a flipper only. But a damn good looking one. Again, M390 on this one. Damn near full flat grind. Very, very nice looking blade shape. But we ought to cut something with the three of these and then we'll wrap this up. Let me grab some paper right quick. We got we got the Crate and Barrel catalog. Start with the uh, Kamasu, signed by Braden Sweeten. Oh, insane factory edge. Laser beam, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That's nice. Really tall flat grind. M390 on this one. Nice reverse Tonto. Cuts like a dream. Cuts like a dream. Reich does the Lord's work. You know, I really... I'm not uh, surprised. Now then, the Triad. Which is... This is the most exciting of the three for me. Oh, yeah. Nice compound grind here. Hollow on the flat section. Thicker at the tip. M390. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Killer factory edge. Like it's not even there, dude. Yep, love that. Can't get over that noise. <laughs> ding, ding. Love it. And finally, the Katuo Telson. Again, M390, nice tall flat grind, kind of a reverse Tonto. Yep, same story here. Same story here. Cuts like a dream. Looks like a dream. Nice and comfy in the hand. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Thank you, Felix, dude, for sending me all this. This is insane. I was expecting one knife, not three bangers, but the Katuo Telson, the Katuo Kamasu, and last but very much not least, the Katuo Triad, designed by Felix himself. I will leave links to Katuo and to Instagram pages for the designers and Katuo and Reich Knife down below. All three incredible. All three different sizes, kind of massive, medium, and like regular EDC size. So a little bit of something for every everybody here. And I'm so here for it. It's been, I, I haven't reviewed a Reich in ages, it feels like, but uh, you know, Darshi blows. But that is it for me. Leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know which one's your favorite. Uh, subscribe to the channel, become a Patreon member, a channel member. Uh, what else? What else? I, uh, um, what am I on? Instagram? TikTok? Threads? I'm out there. But I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.